Um, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, your whole other career mm -hmm. <laughs> as a community mm -hmm. organizer and a grant maker and a fundraiser and was reading about some amazing projects you did mm -hmm. over the years. Um, how is that work distinct from or in conversation or congruence with your work as a writer? Yeah, I feel like that. Um, so interesting. I, I poured so much of myself mm -hmm. into those years. Um, I think that I was. Um, it was it was a privilege mm -hmm. to have people, you know, tell me about their lives. I really saw other people's lives. I I um, in that during that time, I traveled extensively through you know through the South where I had not been. Um, and I think I went like, um, I would say uh, maybe, uh, I would spend maybe 30 to 40 days a year visiting organizers and communities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, who were not in the news or anything like, anything like that, but were really making change at the community level. And so to the, um, it was really a great honor to support uh, that kind of movement work. Um, um, I understood something about, um, Ours about something about black people's resilience. Mm. You know, I'd seen, I had my own examples, of course, in my family and in New York City and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But within, really, in communities and seeing where, you know, uh, governments had, like, were not for them, didn't work for them. So, right. so communities made their own, um, uh, were able to uh, nevertheless make change, you know. Everything from like school systems to, and, f and making it better for their kids to, you know, um, asserting voting rights, electing people who represented them. So these are mm -hmm. important yeah. pieces that, that actually make it, uh, that I can't let go of, that it, change is possible. Um, we make change. Um, there, are, you have, there is a, a level of heroicism mm -hmm. that is right there. Um, that uh, often people know what, what, how to solve their problems, right? And not sort of go, oh, you know, well, we know better, we're going to find something. No, mm -hmm. I really believe that. So the, how does it influence my poetry? Um, yeah, I, you know, it made me want to sample, to really tell stories, let other voices through, mm -hmm. to the extent, and I'm very interested in that. Like, how do you, how do you make a chorus a choir in a poem, mm -hmm. um, and to not get so hypnotized. I, you know, I gotta say, you can hip, get hip focused, hyper focused on the enemy. You know, mm. you know, the establishment, the newspapers, the government, certain lies that get told over and over again. And as a poet, you feel particularly sensitive to, you know, when the Supreme Court goes on and says. Oh, <laughs> your law about guns in this state that you all voted on. Mm -mm. <laughs> By the way, we're abortion <laughs> and reproductive freedom, that's something we're going to give to the, the state for you to vote on. So they can put mm -hmm. contradictory right. decisions out in one week. So you can get focused on how dare they? How could they? Or you can decide that what are the voices that mm. need to be heard that have a wisdom and um, express the what if.